business plan uh, in the traditional sense is a 20 page document that's kind of static. So I don't know that that's important for a seed stage investor. What I think that said, if you have one, don't throw it away. Um, it's an exercise in thinking, right? Um, how big is your market? What team members are you missing? Uh, how do you defend against the, the upstarts that will come after you, assuming you do well? So whether it's a quote unquote business plan that you might learn in business school or whether it's a, um, four or five page document, I want to see that you've done your homework. Yeah. When I look at a business plan or a, a pitch deck or similar, I look at the problem they're solving, the solution, the market and the team. Um, so I need you to convince me that the problem you're solving is real and full and huge. Um, I need to believe that the solution you've built is unique and special and different. I need to know that the market is massive because with VC, we assume most of our investments aren't going to do so well. So we look for those outlying home runs. And then lastly, your team. So how much time you need to spend on the business plan? Um, I'm a big fan of Guy Kawasaki's 10, 20, 30. Um, so he says 10 slides, uh, 20 minutes to pitch it, and 30-point font. So 30-point font is a fun forcing function to make sure that you don't turn into a consultant where you use 6-point font and just go bananas because it, it makes you frame ideas in a different mindset. So if you want to have appendix slides that have pro forma financials and, and that, that's fine. But I think I've seen them go either way, where you'll have someone who has a really deep business plan and has talked to zero customers or someone who, and this is what I would prefer, someone who's talked to a ton of customers, has a great idea of the market. Um, and has like two or three slides that sort of say, here's what we're doing. Um, in the first scenario, um, you've done a lot of academic research. In the second scenario, you've done a lot of user customer research. So I don't know if it's days, weeks, months. The answer to the question I would say is once you feel you know the opportunity, once you understand the market, um, immediately start building, start growing, start selling because it only gets harder as time goes by. So when I think of a business plan, I think it's great for those type activities. Um, and you know, quite honestly, any business plan is going to get, um, a nice dose of reality handed to it by an investor. Um, so if you think, you know, I was uh, a judge on a pitch contest a couple of days ago and a company says at year five, we'll have $800 million in revenue. Well, I hope for their sake they do. That's probably not going to happen. Um, so in that regard, the more granular and more detailed a business plan can explain how you get there, the more believable it becomes. So at the seed stage, yes and no. Um, I don't need you to go really deep. I don't need you to say, we're hiring Bob, and here's his resume. Um, you'll see that it's sort of a Series A stage where you say, these are our key new hires. These are the people we've identified. Um, I do want to know use of proceeds. So we'll say you're raising a million dollars. I've typically seen a s slide where it'll say three things on one slide. We're raising a million dollars. We plan on spending 400000 on salary and new hires, and the other 600000 will be on marketing, advertising, sort of brand bill, whatever that is. Um, and use of proceeds, we anticipate, we're a widget company. Um, we sell hardware widgets, and we think that, you know, we've sold 1500 to date. We think that we need to sell 10000 to be, uh, you know, viable for a Series A. And then that becomes a discussion point where you say you think you need 10,000. I might say, well, 
I'd like to really see 30,000 because I think that you're the, the best widget in the market and I want to see if you can really, you know, spike growth. Um, and I think that's a great uh, dialogue because one, you want VCs that understand what your widget is, that understand how hard it is, how long it takes to sell. And if there are reasons, unreasonable expectations between the founder and the VC, it's probably not going to be a good fit. Because remember, these are long relationships. So if you think you can sell a thousand and the investor says you need to sell 20,000, you can have a discussion, but it might end up being where it's just not a good fit because they don't get what you're up against. 